Let's start. I always start with my five minute warm up. Here we go. We're gonna take it to a squat. We're just keeping it low right now because we just started. Keep it low, pump those arms. Always use your breath in a squat. We're warming up that lower body. We're breathing. There you go, good job. Love to get that lower body worked up. And then we're gonna do just a few minutes more and we're gonna get into those weights. Breathe, remember pump those arms. Think about your biceps and really getting lower to the ground. Give me four, three, two, one. Nice, now we're taking it to our skater jumps. You've seen these on the Olympics. You're gonna keep it low for now. Press that heel behind you, touch your toe. Nice. All right, keep your breathing up, remember that. Here you go. We're gonna do these for 30 seconds, and then we're gonna go back to some stationary moves. Whew, feels good and it's beautiful out here today, isn't it? All right, you're gonna push the arms forward. It makes a big difference. Give me four, three, two, one, nice. Let's bring it to a back lunge right here. We're gonna push our arms forward, breathe. Feel yourself really working it. Getting the body warmed up, pushing forward. You don't have to go that low for now. Nice. Woo! Breathe it out. Push it forward, good. Your knee can go a little bit lower to the ground. We're gonna have one more move in our warm up, and then we're gonna start our weights. Give me four, three, two, one. Woo! My favorite rope a dope. Rope-a-dope is without the jump rope, but you can just get just as good a workout. Breathe. You can take your feet back, kick your hamstrings, or you can keep it low. You can go toe to toe. Just wanna warm that body up. Get ready for our workout. Here we go. I love this. I love the jump rope. Gets rid of any cellulite, if anybody has that. Breathe it out, four, three, two, one, awesome. All right, let's just stretch it out. We're gonna grab our weights and get ready for our weight training. Here we go. Grab three to five pound dumbbells. We're gonna get in a lunge position. Back knee towards the floor. We're gonna do frontal raises for 30 seconds. You're bringing your arms straight up to your body in a lunge position, and here we go. Breathe it out. Nice, you're bringing it right up the midline of your body so you're also working your core. Love this to develop the chest, the shoulders, the arms. Breathe, keep your focus. You know I'm gonna say that a lot throughout this workout. My big pet peeve is breathing. People hold their breath. Nice. We're gonna keep it going, we're almost there. Press through your back knee for three, two, one. Nice, we're gonna change legs, put the knee down. We're now gonna do lateral raises. Let's bring our arms up. There you go. Breathe it out. We have 30 seconds of this, and we wanna keep it up. You're gonna press your weights together just a little bit when you come towards the center. This works your chest and your shoulders. Breathe. Nice. All right, let's get these shoulders up. Don't go past that. Give me three, two, one, perfect. We're gonna take it to a shoulder press in a plie position. You want your toes pointed out, your shoulders and weights are together. Here we go. We're pressing it up. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds. Really push that core and breathe. Nice. You wanna extend at the very top because this way you're working your lower body and your upper body at the same time. Nice. Right here, make sure that those knees aren't extending beyond your toes and you're pushing your weights to the very top. Beautiful, give me three, two, one. Nice, bring them down. We're gonna do tricep kickbacks now for 30 seconds. Come into your lunge position, elbows to your waist, and you're pressing out. Here we go. One, two, good. I'm looking at my muscle because when I work something, I have to look at it, focus on it, so I'm building it at the same time. Keep your elbows to your waist, like I said. Don't throw your weights, just control it. Nice, getting hot out here. It's beautiful in California, isn't it? 
breathe. We're almost there. Four, three, two, one. Great. Let's bring it back to a plie press. We're gonna do our press front for chest like this. Here we go. We're pressing it front, trying to touch those weights together. <sighs> Breathe. So we're working our inner thighs and we're working our chest at the same time. This is tough. Get your focus. I always say, get your focus on. And breathe as you press forward. There you go. Almost there. Give me four, three, two, one. Nice. Our last one, we're gonna come into a lunge position and we're gonna do our biceps. I want you to look at your bicep muscle and I want you to really curl that in, but think about where you're working. Nice, you see my biceps? Pretty good. <laughs> there you go. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds and we're almost there. Breathe out, exhale with effort. Nice. There you go. Let the weights just drop. But control it when you come up. Breathe. Give me four, three, two, one. Nice work. Okay, we're gonna do our second circuit. This time we're gonna do it on each leg. So let's come back to front raises. Your arms are right here. We're gonna bring them right up. Here we go. You should know these moves a little bit better now. We're gonna pick up the intensity. 30 seconds each leg this time. We're not just gonna work the one. Bring it straight up, push it straight down. Keep your focus. Nice. You should be sweating about now. And after the circuit, we'll take a water break. Almost there. Nice. Bring them straight up. Press it straight down as you're also working your lower body. Give me three, two, one. Nice. Now we're going to switch legs. Lunge back. Bring your arms to center. And let's bring them straight up again. Here we go. One. Front raises are awesome. They really work all your chest, all your core, and your arms. Take your breath. We're gonna repeat this. This is our second circuit. Bring them up high. Nice. Like I said, you should be sweating now. Keep it going. Almost there. Give me three, two, one. Nice, now we're gonna change legs. Remember our lateral raise. We bring our arms to center and our elbows go up. Here we go. Working hard now. I love the circuit. Really gets it going. Really works those muscles as you're working your lower body. I hate plopping down on a weight bench. Nice. Don't bring them up past your shoulder. Just control the weights and breathe. You should be sweating now. Almost there. There you go. Give me four, three, two, one. Nice, alternate leg. Let's press it back. Lateral raise is great for the arms and the shoulders. If you wanna look like a swimmer. I do. Nice, almost there. Give me two more. Last one. Perfect. All right, we're gonna switch, switch legs. We're gonna go back to our shoulder press. Here we go. One. Two, go ahead and lean forward to increase that intensity. Really pushing those weight up, touching towards the top. Nice, work that lower body too. And breathe, keep it going, keep your focus. Almost there, press it up. Give me three, two, one, beautiful. Change legs, bring your back knee, shoulders, weights, here we go. There you go, nice. Really pressing those weights up. Really pressing your back leg through your heel. Keep your breath going. Second circuit's always harder. It's supposed to be if you're working. Good, almost there. Keep your breath, stay focused. Give me three, two, one, nice. Woo. All right, tricep kickbacks. Remember, we go back into our lunge position, elbows to your waist, and we're kicking back. Here we go. You can lean 
lean forward a little bit more on your second circuit because we're getting a little bit deeper in there. This works the back of the arms, those flappy triceps. Nobody wants those. Nice. Keep your elbows pinned to your waist. Think about the muscle you're working. Almost there. You should be sweating. Give me four, three, two, one. Nice. Change legs, shoulders, elbows to waist. Here we go. Kick it back. Nice. Keep your elbows glued to your waist. They're your hinge, so you can really get the back of those arms. Keep that breath. After this circuit, we're gonna get a water break. We're gonna go down to the floor, so let's keep it going. Nice, almost through. Breathe, control it. Give me four, three, two, one. Nice, Whew. shake it out. Let's go into a plie press. Knees are out, weights to shoulders. Here we go. Nice. Nice. So you're lifting up with your weights and your body. So you're working that midsection and your lower body. I keep saying, use your breath. Gotta do it. Keep your focus on. Nice. I love this for the inner thigh. It's perfect. Great upper and lower body workout. Almost there. Keep it going. In four, three, two, one. Nice. We're gonna stay in plie position for our curls. Let's bring it back out. Elbows to waist, curl on your biceps. Here we go. For this set, I want you to think about the biceps a little bit more as you're thinking about the lower body. Breathe and control the weight. There you go, press it through your inner thighs. Keep that breath going. It's hot, you should be sweating. Good job. Almost there, last one. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna put down our weights. We're gonna start our floor circuit. I want you to grab a mat. We're gonna use both our weights and our mat for this. We're gonna come down to the mat. You're lying on your side. You're gonna prop up your elbow right here. We're taking our weight and we're gonna use it as a hinge. Here we go. Break that out. You're just bringing your leg up, pushing through your heel, and you're holding yourself up with your elbow bent. Nice. This really works the butt and the side of the leg. You want those nice little indents when you go to the beach. You two guys. We're breathing. This is for 30 seconds. We're almost there. Then we're going to change legs. Look at that leg. Really press it up. Two. One, nice. All right, we're gonna turn it around. We're gonna go to our opposite leg. Here we go. Let's lift it up the same way and start. Let's do it. Up. Nice. Remember, it's like you're a puppet. You're pulling that string up. And you're really pushing through your heel here. And you have added weight on your leg to get those nice indents. Breathe. We're gonna work the lower body for this circuit. Love these exercises. So good for the lower body. Breathe, almost there. Here we go, lift, two, last one. Nice, all right, we're gonna switch sides. This time we're gonna work our inner thigh. So we're gonna bring our hand down. We're gonna raise our top leg. The weight is inside our inner thigh and we're lifting up. Here we go. You can look down that leg just so you can concentrate on working that inner thigh. Remember, stay propped up on your elbow. Nice. Keeping your elbow bent and you're really focusing. Focused work with your breath. Nice. Almost there. Keep your hip on the mat. Four, three, two, one. Perfect, we're gonna switch sides. Work the other inner thigh. Top leg up, weight on the inner thigh. Let's bring it up, remember like last time, here we go. Nice. 
really have to work the inner thigh by lifting up, but stay propped up on your elbow. You're focusing. You're pulling it up just like a puppet string right here. I like to use that. These are your old inner thigh lifts, but they always work. And in a circuit, they're fantastic for working the lower body. Give me three, two, one. Nice. All right, we're going to do our kneeling butt blasters. So we want to come down onto our hands and our knees. We want to come down to our hands and our knees. We're going to rotate sides. Butt blasters, you want to keep your hips up. You want to keep your leg right to here. And we're just pushing. Here we go for 30 seconds. This is great for the butt, so you want to really feel the glute and the hamstring connection there, right underneath your butt. You can add a weight for underneath your knee if you want to. This will give you some extra resistance. For today, we're just going to keep it simple. And you don't want to bring your knee all the way in, you just want it to be a small, tight move. Breathe for four. Three, two, last one, perfect. Let's take the other leg, raise it on up, push the heel towards the ceiling, here we go. Perfect, you should be sweating now. I am, good, push the heel up. Focus on that glute hamstring tie-in, the back of the legs. Love working these, love getting that butt. Push it up. Heels up, almost there. Nice, breathe. Give me four, three, two, one, perfect. Just bring your knees to chest. Now we're gonna start our cool down. You made it. Our circuits are done. You did a great job. Just hug your knees to your chest. Roll side to side, stretch out that lower back. And we're gonna do a pretzel. You're just gonna place your ankle on your knee. Put your hands through your legs. Pull that knee towards you. Nice, breathe. You can lay your head down. Hold, feels so good. You did a great job today. You made it through the workout. Breathe, other side, stretch it out. Good job. Hold for a few more seconds. Just bring that knee to your chest and pull gently. There you go. Give me stretching is. Stretching's so important at the end of a workout. You really gotta cool down. I always include a three minute cool down. Give me three, two, one. Beautiful. Let's sit it up. Cross leg. Here we go. I want you to take a deep breath, grab your wrist, just come over to the side so we can stretch out those arms. Look up at your elbow. You're sitting high. Let's change arms. Coming to the side, you're stretching that whole side out. Ah, feels good. I don't know about you guys, but I feel good right now. It's a great workout. Now you just want to bring your fingertips down your back. Gently take your elbow to the side. We're getting a nice tricep stretch. Breathe it out. Good job. Other side, let's bring our hands up. Gently pull your elbow. Your fingertips are going down your back. You're working your triceps, stretching them out from all that weight. Breathing, beautiful. All right, let's bring it up, standing. You're just gonna roll your knees, press it right up. Let's take a nice deep breath. One more. Thank you so much for joining me today for Weight Training for Dummies. If you get the book, it's just an added plus. You guys did great. I'll see you next time.